Now, in this video, we are going to take up one more concept, how to work with less. So, to do that, using for loop with less, how to do that? A for loop repeats the code block once for each value in a list or list-like value. Suppose, if I take for i in range 4, colon, print i. So, what is the output? 0, 1, 2, 3. How do I know? So, what it does? First, it will go for the i value. What is the range? 4. So, that means 0, 1, 2, 3. Up to, but it is not including the fourth value. So, in that case, first it will take i value as 0. Is 0 is in 4? Yes. So, print the value of i, which is the value of i. Initially, i value is 0. So, it prints i. Then, it takes the increment. So, after 0 plus 1, it becomes 1. 1 is within 4? Yes. Print i value is 1 now. So, print 1. Then, i is incremented with 1, it becomes 2. 2 is within 4? Yes. Condition is true. Then, print 2. Then, i is incremented with 1, it becomes 3. 3 is within 4? Yes. Print 3. Then, i becomes 4. Is 4 within 4? No, it comes out of the loop. That is what it does. Similarly, here also we can write for i in range 4, print i. This is what I want. So, I will go to this. I uh, will go to debug python file. So, first it will take the value of i as 0. i is equal to 0, print i. Prints i as 0. Then i will be incremented with 1, is 1 within 4, condition is true, print 1, it prints 1. Again i will be taken with 2, you can see 2 here, 2 is within 4, yes, print i, it becomes 2. Then i value becomes 3, 3 is within 4, yes, condition is true, print 3. Then i will try to take 4, since it is, it is not within 4, so the condition becomes false. So, it comes out of the loop. That is what it does. So, in the next instance, now we go for this. This is because the return value from the range 4 is a list-like value that Python considers similar to within a list of 0, 1, 2, 3. Suppose if I consider for i in range of list, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, print i. So, first it takes the value of i, i as 0, is 0 in, is i value is 0, 0 is in the list of 0, yes, print 0. So, again, i is taken with 1, 1 is 1, 1 in 1, yes, condition is true, so print 1. Then it takes a second value, so i becomes 2, so 2 in 2, yes, print 2. Then it takes the value of 3. 3 is in the list 3. Yes, so print 3. So what the previous for loop actually does in the loop through, it class with the variable i set to a successive value in the list 0, 1, 2, 3, list in each iteration. A common Python technique is to use the range of length of some list with a for loop to iterate over the indexes of a list. Suppose if I take supplies as a variable having the list which contains pens, staplers, flamethrowers, and binders. For i in range length of supplies print index within quotes plus stri plus within quotes given space in supplies is colon plus supplies i. What it does actually? For i in range length of supplies, what is the length of supply? 0, 1, 2, 3. So, Length is 3 now. I will be 0 initially. So, I value is the index value that is 0, that is pens. So, print index. Index, stri, i value 0, stri, that is 0, index 0. So, here, why I am considering stri? Because initially the value of i, i value is in integer. I want, when you want to concatenate, you cannot concatenate the string with an integer. 
So I need to convert that integer value into a string. So that is what it does here. So it becomes zero value is a string. So index is also a string plus zero is a, a string. So index zero, it becomes now index zero plus in supplies is again it is a string plus supplies i what is the value of the index i i is zero index i zero is pens so index zero in supplies is pens that is the final output so that is what you can see index zero in supplies is pens now similarly then i is incremented with one is one is within three yes 0, 1, 2, 3. So that means the length of supplies is 4 here. Why? Because 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 4 items is there. Length of supplies is 4. So i in range of 4. So 0, first it will take the value of 0. 0 is within 4. Yes. Index str i. i value is 0. So string value becomes 0. Index 0 in supplies is supplies i i value is pens here because index of 0 is pens so that is the reason why you are getting index 0 in supplies is pens now i is incremented with 1 now so that means is 1 in 4 range 4 yes print index i i value is 1 now index 1 in supplies is supplies i what is supplies i i1 index value of i which is 1 is stapler. So that is the reason why index 1 in supplies is stapler. Next, then i is incremented with uh, one more 0, 1, 2. Is 2 is within 4? Yes. Index 2 in supplies is supplies i. What is i value? i value is 0, 1, 2. Index 2 flamethrower. So index 2 in supplies is flamethrower. Then again i value becomes 3. Is 3 is in range 4 within 4? Yes. Condition is true. Index 3 in supplies is supplies i value is 3. 0, 1, 2, 3 binders. Index value is binders. So index 3 in supplies is binders. So this is how you will be able to execute this program using range length supplies in the previously shown for loop is handy because the code in the loop can access the index as the variable i and the value at that index as supplies i best of now how to do this by using a coding in python now we have taken for loop now we will go for the for i in 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. This. So, if you try to print, you will going to get 1, 2, 3. So, how does it exactly happening now? So, I will go for debug python file. So, first i value takes the value of the list as 0. So, 0 is in i list 0, yes. So, print i, 0. Then, i will be 1, is 1 in 1, yes, print 1. Then, 2 is in 2, yes, so 2. 3 is in 3, yes, print 3. Then, goes to 4, 4 is in 3, 4 is in 4 in the list, no. It comes out of the loop. So, that is how you will going to get 0, 1, 2, 3. The next thing is, I want to take this as an example. So, I will go for supplies, okay, equals pens, pens, okay, staplers, okay, fl fl uh, flamethrowers, Flame throwers, comma binders. Okay. For 
i in range then length supplies length supplies if the condition becomes true then print print index given space plus stri then plus then given space in supplies in supplies is colon plus supplies i cut yes now we will try to print so here it will give the value as index 0 is in supplies is pens index 1 in supplies is sub staplers index 2 in supplies is flamethrowers index 3 in supplies is binders so how exactly it is uh, behaving we will try to check by step by step debug python file now first the supplies it will take all the values of the items of the list for i length of supplies is how much the length of supplies is 4 okay the length of supplies is 0 1 2 3 you can see 4 length of supplies is 4 so initially i i value is 0 0 is in 4 yes index str i i is 0 what is the i 0 index 0 plus index 0 supplies is supplies i value it is index 0 here so here if you see whatever it is there in the square brackets is the index that is the list list 0 means what the list 0 is the index 0 on the list so that is pens so it will take pens so it will print the value index 0 in supplies is pens then i will be taken with 1 1 is in 4 yes index 1 is supplies is staplers okay because i value is 1 index of 1 is tabular similarly i value is taken as 2 index 2 in supplies is supplies 2 which is flamethrowers so you are going to get flamethrowers similarly i is 3 3 is in 4 yes index 3 in supplies is binders so you are going to get that again i will try to become 4 4 is in 4 no it comes out of the load so this is how the program is run in this case now in the next is the in and the not in operator how this will going to behave we will going to see now the in and not in operators you can determine whether a value is or is not in a list with in and not in operators like other operators in and not in are used in expressions and connect two values a value to look for in a list and the list where it may be found this expression will evaluate to a boolean value which is true or false suppose if i say spam equals hello hi howdy hey yes x equals howdy in spam x equals howdy howdy is the string whether it is in spam variable yes it is there you can see hello hi howdy hey yes is howdy is in spam yes print x so the condition is true so output is true similarly again the spam hello hi howdy hey yes x is equal to cat in spam is there is a string called cat in this spam list or spam variable which contains the list hello hi howdy hey yes no, we don't have cat in this spam variable. Therefore, the output is false. X again, spam is equal to hello howdy as is x is equal to howdy not in spam. But howdy is there in spam since it is not in. So the condition becomes false. So output is false. Hello, hi, howdy as x is equal to cat not in spam cat is there in this spam variable no so print x not in spam not in spam means whether this cat is there in that particular 
uh, string values. No, it is not there. The output is true. So this is this following the following program. Let the user. So this is how you will be able to understand this. So now we will try to uh, execute this by using a program. So how to do that? So first is to demonstrate not in and not in and not in operators. I will say spam equals okay hello comma hi comma then howdy then yes okay then x is equal to howdy is the string in spam okay condition is true print x so it should be true now yes it is true then spam hi howdy cat in spam now we want in this we will write cat is cat is there in spam no so output is false okay then false how do you not in spam how do you not in spam condition is true sorry false condition because it is not in false then come to this cat not in spam cat is cat is there in not in spam Yes, condition is true. So you are going to get the true value. So you are get it as true. So this is how you will be able to execute the uh, to demonstrate the use of not in and not in operators in Python program. Thank you.